Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, January 26th, and I am three days away from weigh-in. So where am I on my Wonderland watch? Stay tuned. Okay, let's recap. Friday was my weigh-in day. I weighed in on Friday at 200.7. And then Saturday it went up to 201.2. Sunday it was back down to 200.7. Yesterday it was up to 200.9. Today... It was down to 200.2. <laughs> so, as one of my subscribers pointing out, pointed out, I'm stressing way too much about this. I'm going to get there. I know I'm going to get there. Uh, hopefully, I'll get there by Friday. So, I need 0.3 pounds. 0.3. 0 0.3 to get into Wonderland. I've got three days to do it. I mean, I don't have three days. I would like to get it done by three days, in three days. I'd like to be back down in there, and then the fight will continue to stay down there again. But for right now, I'm just concentrating on getting down there. I am uh, forgetting about my 100-pound mark, which, you know, I've got a ways to go yet on that. I was so close to that before, too. But uh, I can see Wonderland. I can taste it. I can smell it. I can spit on it. I can't step in it. <laughs> Not today anyway. But like I said, I'm on my way. I know that I'm doing everything that I need to do on my end. I am being perfect on plan. Uh, there's not one thing going in my mouth that I'm not weighing or measuring. And there's nothing going in my mouth that is not on plan. So I know that I'm doing what I need to do. My body just needs to do the rest. So um, I've had a good day on plan today. Uh, I've only had 11 points. So let me show you what those 11 points are right now. For breakfast this morning, I'm having oatmeal and coffee. My oatmeal is 41 grams of dry old-fashioned oats. Um, actually, these are my pumpkin pie oats. Um, I mixed in uh, a half a cup of cooked pumpkin. That was my home canned pumpkin. With that, the oats are four points. Pumpkin is zero points. I also have 120 milliliters of unsweetened uh, almond milk in there for zero points. A couple tablespoons of the Lakanto Golden uh, Monk Fruit Sweetener. Um, so my bowl of cereal is four points. 50 milliliters, as always, in my uh, two cups of coffee for one point. So I have a five-point breakfast. For lunch today, I'm having a fish salad. This is uh, salmon, pan-fried salmon and Pam. Um, zero points for that. Actually, everything on my salad is zero points except for the 38 grams of avocado, which is two points. Other than that, there's just lettuce, tomato, or not, no tomatoes, um, the salsa, which is my home canned salsa, zero points in that. So there's lettuce, uh, some jalapeno, onion, the salsa, and the salmon. That's all zero points. And then the avocado is two points. I have a two-point lunch. This takes me to seven points for the day. For dinner, I am just having a bowl of yogurt, 176 grams on the yogurt. This is the non-fat Greek yogurt that I made. Zero points. 
Uh, banana is 89 grams. Blueberries 104 grams at zero points. And I've got some. Uh, I've got 31 grams of the bare naked triple berry granola for four points. So I have a four point dinner. I believe this takes me to 11 points for the day. Okay, that was my 11 points today. I may add a couple more points with something um, because I just checked my um, calorie intake and it's under a thousand calories. I don't like to do that. I like to have it up around 1100, at least 1100, 1100 to 1300. That's fine. Uh, so I did get, even with that 11 points, I got the blue dot for the day, but, um, my calorie count's really low today, so I need to bump that up a little bit. My guess is I'm going to add two or three points to that to end up with about 14 points today. Um, but we'll see. It's starting to get a little bit late, so I, I don't want to eat real, real late. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, tell you the truth, I didn't do much of anything today. I was, I've been kind of tired all day. Now, I knew I wasn't going to go anywhere today because... Um, weather was yucky it was icy this morning my poor dog it took her about 15 minutes to get down the steps today you know and i have these that, those metal steps that come up and i got 17 of them she got about halfway down and kept and looked at me like do i have to go the rest of the way but um she did great she got down there and then later in the day when i let her out again she um it, the, it, it had melted so she did fine and I'll probably have to get her out one more time tonight. So I'm, I'm not quite sure what the situation is out there. I know when I went out to get the mail and to bring the trash cans back in from the curb, it was very slippery. And that was maybe about 2 o'clock this afternoon. So uh, I had not planned on going anywhere today uh, anyway. So I've just been hanging out here. I haven't done anything. I did get my clutter cleared off of my kitchen table. So I'm sitting here in my living room and I think this is the first time since I've moved in that I can see how nice it looks in here. <laughs> I think I'll keep it that this way. So I'm the clutter queen. I can clutter up anything quicker than anybody. I got to tell you. Now my next project will be back in my craft room because, uh, you know, that's one of those rooms where I walk back there like this. I don't want to see because I've been piling stuff back there thinking ah, I'll get to this a winter project, you know, when I don't have anything else to do. So the time has come. I want to get that room straightened out um, so I can get back there and start making a few things. Uh, anyway, so it's just been a kind of a lazy day for me and I'm still tired. So last night I went to bed before midnight. I haven't done that in a long, long time. But here's the thing. I tossed and turned and tossed and turned. Finally, about four o'clock this morning, I got up and I watched television for an hour and a half before I went back to bed. So when I got up, it was about 11 o'clock when I got up today. So maybe I'll be able to go to bed a little earlier again tonight. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, that's about it today. I mean, I don't have any big words of wisdom other than just keeps, you know, Keep doing what you're doing to, to be successful. Remember my quote for the week is your only limit is your mind. And uh, that's certainly true for me right now. My only limit is my mind. <laughs> when I get on the scale in the morning, I'm thinking, oh, please, 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 please. Um, I was looking back at my chart my because uh, I keep track of my weigh-ins every day. And it's it's been a hot minute since I've been in Wonderland. I, you know, last it was in August when my scale started going up and I mean, really going up. So, I mean, I was down in the one eighties and then I saw in August it's prepped back into the one nineties. I'm thinking, well, that's okay. I, you know, I can handle this. It won't take me long to get back down to the one eighties. Well, I went the wrong way. I kept going up and going up and up. And, uh, I mean, it's nobody's fault, but my own that I got back up in the, into Tudorville. So, uh, I'm working really, really hard, though, to get back down there. You know, like I said, I'm kind of on a mission. I'm laser focused right now. And I haven't been this focused on it in a long time. And I need to stay here. I need to keep my mind in this game. Because as long as my mind is in this game, I'm doing what I need to do. And like I said, um, you know, last week on Friday, I wasn't confident at all that I could be back into the 190s. Um, I'm thinking I got a shot this week, 
but I know 0.3 doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. Uh, I have been waiting. I've been at that 0.3 mark before for a couple of weeks, even though I've done everything right. So we'll just see what my body decides to do <laughs> this week. And, and uh, hopefully I have good news. I mean, I'm glad I was down this morning from yesterday. I was, you know, I told you yesterday, I was kind of bummed up that bummed out that it went up 0.2. I um, was glad to see the fall today at 0.7. I was down 0.7. Uh, I got way more exercise yesterday than I have today, though, because like I said, it's just kind of been a, a lazy day for me. Uh, we'll see. I have lost weight before doing absolutely no exercise whatsoever. Uh, anyway, I'm drinking my water, doing everything I need to do. So I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up for me. Uh, like I said, I don't have any big words of wisdom to tell you today other than, you know, that's what I had to eat. It wasn't anything fancy. Um, I'm kind of liking, uh, those big salads that I've been eating, uh, I think I showed it to you for my dinner. It was really my lunch, and my yogurt was my dinner. I, I've been eating my my bigger meal, my higher calorie meal, uh, earlier in the day. So, and I don't know why I'm doing that. It's not anything anybody told me I needed to do. I just, I think subconsciously think this is better for me if I have a lighter meal at night. So I pretty much just flipped lunch and dinner around. I mean, there's nobody that ever said, there's no rule that says you have to eat your heavy meal at night. So uh, there used to be a saying, and I don't remember what it was. If you remember this, let me know. Uh, something about you eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a princess and dinner like a pauper or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. It was like how you're supposed to eat your bigger meal in the morning, then a lesser meal at noon and a lesser meal at night. So if you know what that saying is, let me know. And it has nothing to do with anything, but <laughs> I just thought I was thinking about that. So, okay, well, that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with another what I ate. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I don't have anything big planned tomorrow. Thursday, I got to go see the tax guy. I'm not looking forward to that. Um, but, uh, oh, my son has to have a root canal tomorrow. My son in Oklahoma, the one that's getting married, he's getting a root canal. He went to the dentist today. He's been having a lot of trouble with his teeth. So in the root canal is just the beginning of all the work he has to have done. So, you know, think about him tomorrow as uh, you're going about your day because I know, <laughs> I know he's not going to be a happy camper. Okay, guys, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.